Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today I am bringing you another Forzathon guide. Now this one is the final Horizon anniversary one of the month. Uh, so this is celebrating Horizon 4's anniversary uh, in which it wants you to use the 2018 McLaren Senna which is of course the cover car for Horizon 4. Now you can pick it up in the auto show for about 1 million credits or if you're lucky you might be able to find a cheap one in the auction house. Um, I have tuned it up, now you don't necessarily need a tune but it's always a bit more fun. Uh, I've left it stock engine and rear wheel drive but just tuned the engine a bit so it's almost pushing a thousand brake horsepower and it's brilliant fun. Now the first challenge here wants you to earn three slingshot skills. Now for those of you who are unaware, a slingshot skill is basically a drafting skill and then a pass skill. So for this you will have to do some form of race and I recommend definitely doing a road race now I used the one that I created a while back um, which is just one lap uh, on the Moorhead wind farm circuit and as you can see here all you have to do is get a drafting skill and then just fly past them to overtake them now the other thing you will notice uh, which is actually quite helpful is you don't have to draft the car that you're trying to overtake so as you can see there I was drafting the car that was two places in front of me and overtook the car that was only one place in front of me uh, which was actually quite easy so three of them shouldn't take you too long as you saw there it only took me about 30 seconds now the second challenge wants you to win five road racing series events so first of all I recommend going to the Lakehurst Forest Sprint Race. Now I've created a very quick and easy track called Super Quick. Now of course it's a sprint race so it won't take you long. Now if you type in the share code which is 2086722282 it will come up with the race that I'm talking about here um, and basically it's one of those sort of cheaty ones um, but of course you've got to do five so this is the quickest way to do it uh, and it's just sending the AI off the track and you've got a straight shot to the finish line and then all you have to do is complete that five times it's very very quick and easy now the final challenge isn't so much a challenge it just wants you to get above a speed of 208 mile an hour in your center now as per usual i just head to the motorway uh, and you'll have it done in no time like I said, it's not really a challenge. Uh, it's quicker and easier if you have tuned it, but it's still achievable if you leave it bog standard. Uh, now, I know that the Senate isn't probably accessible to some of you if you don't have the funds. Uh, but like I said, keep checking the auction house and you might get lucky and find one. Um, but most of you guys probably have one anyway. With it being the cover car, um, a lot of people I'm sure would have gone out and brought it. But like I said before, this Forza Thons challenges are actually very, very easy. Um, they shouldn't take you more than five minutes, uh, especially if I, if you follow the shortcuts that I showed you earlier there. Um, so the first one might take some of you a little longer, uh, depending on what race you're doing. But try and use one with corners, um, as it's definitely easier to draft and overtake straight off a corner uh, than it is on a straight and the second challenge, like I said, if you use that super quick race that I created for you guys, you'll have it done in no time, literally in about two and a half, three minutes, um, and you'll have won all five races. But anyway, guys, I hope that this has helped you out, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. Uh, if it has, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more content just like this with everything gaming. But a massive thank you, all the best, and take care, guys. Cheers.